Today we're funding cash envelopes Dave Ramsey style. But wait, aren't they always funded Dave Ramsey style? I mean, I use cash, but I don't really use an envelope. So is that Dave Ramsey style? I do have my handy dandy wallet though. Yeah, we're solidly funding them Dave Ramsey style. I mean, Rachel uses clips, not actual envelopes, right? Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I have been on the Dave Ramsey plan to pay off more than $300,000 in debt. <sighs> that number upsets me every time I say it. We are on baby step two of Dave Ramsey's baby steps and we've paid off. Well, I'm not going to tell you exactly how much we've paid off because I want it to be a surprise at the end of the month, but we're almost halfway. So if you are interested in following us along on our journey, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. So I cleaned out my wallet and there is nothing in here. This is not going to be exciting like last month where I had the magic wallet that just magically produced money. This is empty. The only thing I got in here is some amazing coupons from Modern Budget Curl, which I'm gonna be using this month when I go to Sally's. So thank you, you are awesome. So feel free to mail me any coupons that you find. You know, my uh, address is down in the description box. I ain't paying $185 again. No, not to color my hair. I'm cheap like that now. Wasn't before, but I am now. This program changes you. Okay, so let's get started. Our first envelope is grocery and we have $260 in the grocery envelope. And these were all sorted out before I started filming and then I picked them up to do the thumbnail and now they're not sorted out. So anyway, I now have to count this out again. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, 60, 80, 220, 40, 60. 260 for the grocery envelope. And did I mention that the Austin bank teller put the money all facing the same way? He actually fixed it as he was counting it out. I was like, you are awesome. So 260 in the grocery envelope. Next is blow money for Mauricio and blow money for me. That's $100 each. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. And my mother who watches all of my videos asked me one time, she said, what happens if there's only four weeks in the month and you've given yourself $200? And I'm like, we use it. Sometimes we carry it over to the next month and sometimes we use it just for us. So we just fund $200 no matter how many weeks in the month there actually are that we'll need to fund. And I have my handy dandy envelope that sits in the back of my wallet and it says blow money. And the next thing is gonna flip a lot of people out. So don't freak out, don't freak out. 20, 40, 60, 100, that is $80. I need to learn to count, 100. This is for the dry cleaner. And I have another dry cleaner envelope. And it goes back here. And why are we sending $100 to the dry cleaner? Because we actually had a lot of things that are dirty in our closet that we have been stalling on going to the dry cleaner. Our dry cleaner is super expensive. In fact, everything in this area is super expensive. And you know, at the end of every month, whatever I have left over either goes to fund the following month or it gets put back into the bank and put to debt. My cash envelopes are month by month, not cumulative. So $100 for dry cleaning this month. And then Mauricio's monthly haircut is $25, $20 for the actual haircut and $5 for a tip. And that goes in the haircut. And then the last $100 is for our family outings category and that is right here and sometimes that goes to fund like a date night for Mauricio and I sometimes it goes to fund something fun for Melina and Mauricio like yesterday Mauricio took Melina to a car show you know it wasn't like a formal car show or anything it was just a uh, like a parking lot car show and there were Lamborghinis and stuff like that. But he took her and then he took her to McDonald's. So cash goes to that kind of stuff, you know, like family bonding or mom and dad bonding stuff. Sometimes Starbucks. I'll admit it. It happens. 
it is Easter Sunday and as you can tell my hair is not done this is what I look like when I rolled out of bed <sighs> Melina is really really sick she is laying in bed the Easter Bunny was gonna come but the Easter Bunny left her this note and said that he would not be coming today because his basket was full of chocolate her favorite food in the whole world and he didn't want her to feel tempted when she was so sick to eat chocolate. So he is gonna come later this week when she is feeling better. And we did decorate Easter eggs and we got this cool egg decorating thing. Oh my gosh, it was, my mother found it and got it for her. And we had such a good time decorating the Easter eggs. It, it was super cool and um, it was easy for Melina to use and I'd highly recommend it. I don't know how quality it is, but maybe since it's after Easter when you see this, you can find it for cheap. I'll try and find it on Amazon and link it down below so you can uh, see the price. But it was, my mom said it was pretty pricey, but it was super fun. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.